Good morning. It's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself. And today I want to talk about your chronic illness and your chronic symptoms specifically. The symptoms that cause you suffering, pain, cause you not to be able to live your life. These symptoms, whether you know it's headaches or a muscle pain or whatever it is, whatever these symptoms are, could be any number of ailments or symptoms that keep you from living your life. I want to talk about the way you're thinking about them and about healing that's actually preventing healing. So a lot of people when they have these symptoms, first of all, when people wake up in the morning, they look for a way to start their day and to live their life today um, so that they don't feel symptoms. So they'll get up and they might think, okay, how can I avoid certain foods? How can I avoid doing this and um, avoid doing that and do all the right things uh, so that my symptoms don't come up? Um, how can I, you know, how can I stay away from this or, or run from that or hide from that or make sure people don't notice or hide it from a certain person? Or how can I uh, basically live through the day without these symptoms arising and getting in my way and overtaking me? So that's basically the way that people who are chronically ill or in chronic pain or whatever, suffering in some kind, set up their day. It's like, what can I do? What can I avoid? How can I uh, hide this? And how can I basically run from these feelings all day or suppress them or push them down? Or um, what can I do in order to have a good day instead of a bad day and let me think of all those things that I can do so that I can just live my life, live my busy life, my normal life, everything that I'm, I'm normally able to do and interact with the people I need to interact with without these symptoms getting in the way. Okay, so if that's you, then take a breath because we're about to think of a different way to think about this. Okay, and it's mostly starting with your psychology. It's starting with your psychology that's important. And basically it's more that you need to get up and think, how can I change my way of thinking today so that I'm less reactive, so that I don't have to run from things, I don't have to avoid things, I'm safe to feel whatever comes up, I'm not gonna react to situations and I'm gonna just stay in the present moment all day instead of running from it, hiding from it or reacting to it. You know, so it's a different way of thinking and it's a, it's a mental shift that you have to get in order to start actually making progress to your healing. Otherwise, you're just living your life and when the symptoms arise, um, and they always arise from feelings that you have and emotions that you have and momentum that is already going on in your life, the busy pace that you're living your life at, the negative thoughts that you're thinking, all of these things that are contributing to a cycle already momentum that's going forward that causes these symptoms to arrive and when they do we think what can i do now what can i do to stop them what can i do to get rid of them what do i need to do physically what do i need to think uh how can i get rid of these um best we can right and it's it's not really like that when you're trying to heal the best thing that you can do is start out your day by saying how do i become a different person today where I stay in the present moment, I don't react to, I don't react to the people and the relationships and the triggers going on in my life. I'm able to stay grounded in the present moment. I don't have to avoid foods. I don't have to avoid uh, certain places or certain things and stop living in fear and start living in acceptance of just being present in the present moment being grounded, being present, witnessing, being a witness to your symptoms, being a witness to your life. And how can you live like a more peaceful existence? You know, how do you live a more peaceful existence, a more grounded existence, a more happy, joyful relationships? How do you interact with people in a happy way in a way that doesn't trigger you how can you respond without reacting right how do you respond in a different way in a different and new way so i think that one of the things is people who have chronic illness are living in a state of reaction 
and they're living in a state of fear and they're living in a state of tell me what to do and taking action, needing to take action to solve this problem. When the actual solution may be to get more still, to do less, to take less action, to, you know, to take less action, to just be aware of your symptoms, to be aware of your life, to participate in your life, to slow down the pace of your life, to be happy with the people you're surrounding yourself, to be happy with the things that you're doing on your daily to-do list, to deal with things in a different way that make you feel happier, make you feel more peaceful and more grounded, um, to see what's really on your mind, to think what's really in your heart rather than pushing those things away, to feel feelings of anger, sadness, or frustration and let them come up and let them just sit with you. Know that you don't need to react to those, that they're messengers, that you need to pay attention to something or deal with something in a different way or, you know, allow yourself to really hear your own heart on certain matters. A lot of people just push their heart aside and think, I should be living like this. I should be doing this. I should be this type of parent. I should be this type of partner. I should react this way. I should, you know, be in control of my life. I should push forward. I should, I should keep going at this hectic pace. And maybe that's just not what you should be doing. You just listen, you just participate in a life that feels good to you. So your goal in the morning when you wake up should not be how can I get through the day without these symptoms coming up and if they do, what can I do immediately that will lessen them? It's more like saying, how can I create a life today that I love, that I like? How can I create relationships that, are, that surround me, that are positive? How can I play a positive role in those? And when things aren't going my way, when I'm having anger or grief or sadness or frustrations build up in me, how can I listen to those and release those in a different positive way and acknowledge that I'm having these feelings and that maybe this isn't exactly what I want to be going on in my life and I need to make changes. So it's more about the psychology and doing less and just being more present and just being more present to being the type of person that you like and to interacting with people in a way that feels softer and happier and better and putting jobs on your to-do list that um, are, are good for you, that you feel happy about and doing things in a less hectic way and not being so filled with fear and reacting to every um, person or bodily symptom or anything that comes up along the day. It's just like we're less, we're not reacting, we're just noticing. We're just aware and then we shift, we shift our perspective and we shift our attitude and we shift our energy based on things that aren't going in a good direction. Slowing things down, being more present, being more calm, trying to experience joy in the day. So all these little things are important. The mentality shift is super important where we don't just get up and think, what can I avoid or do? Or how can I manage this today, cope through this in order to get on with my day and have these not get in the way? Don't you see how that's just causing a momentum and a mindset of illness? It's more like, okay, I'm gonna live my life today in a different way, at a different pace, with a different energy, with a new perspective, and stop reacting, and stop running, and hiding, and masking, and just being yourself, allowing your true self to rise, and allowing your true feelings to point you in the direction of more pleasure, more joy, more happiness, more peace, more calm, instead of more anger, more frustration, more fear, more, you know. So I'm not saying that you can't do anything, that you can't ever take any action to solve symptoms when they arise, but just let it be a reminder. Let it be a signal 
a sign that your body's talking to you and this is not something to fight or get rid of. This is a partnership between you and your body. Like, okay, you feel this way. What can I do for you now to help you? How can I help you feel a little bit better? How can I help you feel softer, happier, less pain, less suffering right now? And how moving forward through the rest of our day, can we create a mindset that keeps us feeling better than you do right now, right? And that's, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this partnership with yourself, this new mentality where you're creating more moments that fill you with joy and peace and comfort. You're noticing, you're being present. You're not running from, you're just allowing and you know, m moving with the flow of life rather than against it. So I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope it's given you some insight on the type of mentality shift that you need to wake up with and that you need, need to literally carry from the moment you wake up until the moment you go to bed every day so we can build a new momentum forward and we can continue building this new life forward. And that's how healing happens. And when it doesn't, or when symptoms come back, we don't just fall apart and react and say, see, it's not working. That's not the mind shift. That's not the momentum that you need to carry with you. So I hope you can see this. If you can't watch the video again, and I hope it sparks um, a shift, a shift in the right direction today. Um, thanks for watching.